everybody! Welcome back to Sleeve Mel 2015. My name is Melody and I had the gastric sleeve surgery. I had the sleeve surgery on July 2nd in Tijuana, Mexico through alighterme.com with Dr. Ortiz. I knew that I made the right decision. I feel great and uh, they treated me really well out there and happy to say that it's been one month. It's going to, it's August 2nd and I just can't believe it's been a whole month since my surgery. So let's get to stats really quick. My stats are, my highest weight was 245 and that's when I was pregnant with my son. My pre-op diet, uh, when I started the pre-op, it was between 218 and 220. So I'm going to start at 220 because it was just never a legit weight. Um, my surgery weight after the pre-op diet, I lost 11 pounds. So on my surgery day, I was 208. Last week, I was at 194. And then this week, I'm at 191. 191. So that's three pounds down um, from the last time, from last week's. Uh, so one month out, I'm a total of 28 pounds down in a month. That's almost 30 pounds. I'm excited. I noticed that my weight has slowed down. And I think my body is adjusting to all the solid foods I've been eating. Um, I can eat pretty much anything. I avoid breads and I avoid anything with high sugars. I could go maybe 13 grams and under, if that, and most everything. My taste buds have changed. And most everything uh, is too sweet for me. So I just, I can't do any sugary drinks anymore so even Gatorade is too sweet for me so um, I've been really happy with my crystal light raspberry ice drinks I drink a lot of that but I have been obsessed with water I have never liked water so much and I think my body is just always craving water and every time I take a drink it's it tastes so refreshing but it has to be ice cold water so I'll put a water bottle in the freezer for an hour and it'll be ice cold or I'll add ice to a glass and just drink it with a straw. Um, there is this myth about the straw. Uh, a lot of people, the doctors will tell some people don't drink out of a straw because it supposedly causes air. Well, hello, gulping is m way worse than a straw. So I decided that sipping through a straw is much better because it hurts because I don't think because I'm thirsty and I just start gulping and then it goes down fast and I'm like, oh, oh it's painful, painful, painful. But um, I'm doing really well, guys. I'm so super excited. Here is a before and after picture. What do you guys think? I know that things are going well for me. Oh, here, let's talk about this real quick. I know when I'm full when I start frothing, and frothing, what it is, is like phlegm coming back up your throat and it just stays there. It's almost like a, kind of like a, when you have rabies and you, you know, people like, not people, but animals foam at the, at the mouth, but that's what it's doing in my throat. So I know when I'm full, when I start feeling that and I have to stop, because if I continue on, it makes me want to throw up. Dumbo me, I wasn't even thinking and I wanted to rearrange my living room and I did it most of it by myself. And now I know why, besides the fact that you gotta be careful with your incisions, moving heavy furniture or anything over 12 pounds or whatever it was. I threw up twice trying to rearrange and my couch is heavy and my recliner's heavy and the TV's heavy. And I spent probably four hours rearranging things and closer to the time I was done, I started throwing up and I'm going, oh, no wonder why they tell you not to move anything heavy for a good six weeks. Your stomach inside still has to heal. And I forget that because I feel so good that I forget that I still gotta let myself rest and heal and stop moving heavy furniture. I'm a, I, I like to rearrange, but you know, I, what else, you know, can I do? I had to change the look of my living room. It's still a mess, but the rest of it's easy to clean. I took the la uh, uh, rest of the night off last night and <laughs> decided to finish cleaning. I was gonna clean today, but I ended up falling asleep and taking a nap today. The heat is just killing me. Um, I am walking a lot. I try to make myself go for a walk, like, oh, I need to go to the grocery store. I'll go and take walks. 
Um, and even though it's a slow type of walk, I am looking forward to getting back outside and taking a walk. But it's hard to do because I got both the boys here and I don't want to take walks with them because all I'll hear is, I don't want to walk anymore. I'm tired. It's hot. I'm thirsty. You know? So I'd rather take a walk by myself, but by the time Ronnie gets home, it is too hot in the middle of the day. So once it starts cooling off, it'll be easier once Caden's in school, but I'll be in the hospital and you know, there's gonna be times where he's probably gonna end up being sleepy in the hospital anyway, so I could take walks. My update for one month post-op, I'm doing very well. I'm very happy that I can eat most anything. I stick to straight to proteins, eat lots of proteins, whether it's seafood or chicken or meats. And I do, I chew, I chew, I chew, I chew until I swallow it because I do not like the stuff feeling. I've learned my lesson. I'm just happy I'm almost down to 30 pounds. But if you guys wanna follow me, if you wanna see more updates, follow me on Instagram at SleevedMel2015. Same name as my YouTube channel. I also have a Facebook page that I post often. Um, so follow the Sleeved Mel 2015 on the Facebook page. The link is down in the description box below. I also do daily vlogs every day on my regular channel so you can see more updates if you're interested at Mom's Vlog 80 and that is in the description box down below. We have some super exciting things happening in the next day or two so you guys need to go over there and subscribe over there if you want to as well. Um, so if you guys enjoyed today's video, thumbs up. Thumbs up for almost 30 pounds. Thumbs up for me feeling good after only one month. I uh, hope you guys, uh, I will see you guys next week. Make sure if you are just starting your journey and you have any questions, let me know. I did a lot of my journey um, every day for the first uh, for I would say first week up until after post-op uh, the first week after that so um, you guys can go back and watch my videos but if you have any questions or you want me to subscribe to your channel let me know because I'm willing to uh, watch your journeys as well and I enjoy watching everybody else's journeys and um, you know and it's nice to find people who are kind of like and me in my situation, you know, so it's really nice uh, for that. I have no shout outs tonight. I'm super, super, super sorry, but I love you guys so, so much, and we will see you guys all next week for week number five. Uh, and also, I'll be cooking some more, so that's exciting. Well, we'll see you guys next time. Ciao. Um, and, and, um, if, and, and um, um, follow me on Instagram at two uh, Mel. Blah, blah. Anyway, so um, anyway, um, 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 but I thought I had this already. I guess not. Hey, everybody! Welcome back to to. Recording? Okay. Hey guys, um, just one more message right before I close out the vlog. I completely forgot I wanted to talk about this. Um, so I wanted to talk about scale shaming. And I don't like it when people shame you for weighing yourself every day. We need to get out of that habit and telling people that it's bad for you to weigh yourself every day. And yes, I get it and I completely understand why people don't want you to because number one, it can cause severe depression. Number two, it, um, it can cause such an obsession with people that they, they, they freak out if they gain a pound or two, um, and gaining weight. And I just, I completely understand that sometimes for some people, it's not good for them. But listen, there's no reason to shame people out of weighing every day. I weigh myself every day and I absolutely love to. And sometimes two to three times a day. Yes, it's an obsession with mine, but it hasn't really hurt me. And let's say I gained a pound and there's been times where I have done that at weighing myself every day. I know what I need to do for the day. Well, I gained a pound or two, so either I A, I need to poop, or B, I need to pick up my protein and take a walk to get back down. I think gaining three pounds, if I check every week and then I gain three pounds, it'll be harder to lose. 
Um, my frame of thinking is, and my willingness and my will is, I think, a little bit different than most people. So, um, me weighing myself every day, I don't see a problem with it. I do not have a problem with it. And I don't like it when people shame you out of weighing every day. In fact, I heard one doctor stating that it is good for you to weigh yourself every day. It keeps yourself accountable every day. So like I just stated, if I gained a pound since yesterday, I know what I need to do. I need to pick up my protein. I need to drink some more water. I need to take a walk for that day in order for me to get that weight loss off quickly. It helps me keep me accountable every day. If I weighed myself once a week, I'd be in trouble um, because then I wouldn't know what I was doing for that day. Do you know what I'm saying? Do you see what I mean? Um, so if you can't handle it and you get very sad and depressed seeing your weight fluctuate all the time, I don't recommend it. But I don't think there should be shaming in weighing yourself every day. And I think this is one of my biggest pet peeves is people always are telling other people, don't weigh yourself every day. And I get very frustrated over it. There is nothing wrong with weighing yourself every day. It can play mind tricks on people, but to me, I don't see a problem with it for me. And that's what I'm going to be continue on doing is weighing myself every day. Once I get to my goal weight, it may change, but I have a long way before I get to my goal weight. But otherwise, I think I am doing really well and I don't like the uh, shaming on weighing yourself every day. Everybody's different. Everybody reacts differently. Everybody loses weight differently. So um, there's nothing wrong with it in my eyes. And I think the shaming of weighing yourself every day needs to stop. And so that's a little bit of peace of my mind. You guys are getting to know me a little bit better. I just, I it's very frustrating to me, but for me, I like doing it. I like doing it and I can't speak for anybody else. This is my experience and um, I really enjoy weighing myself every day. I enjoy waking up in the morning, go pee first and find out what I weigh for that day. And um, so yeah, I just wanted to sp uh, spill that out there for today's vlog. No shaming in everyday weighing. All right, love you guys. Thanks for understanding. We'll see you later, bye.